Hello everyone, this is Susie Q of Susie Q's Happy Little Haven and welcome to my nursery room window. Today I'm doing uh, details and a name reveal of the new baby girl that I just received today. Um, I just recently did a box opening of her um, which um, I've uploaded and so I'm going to reveal her name and show you some more details. Uh, first of all, she's the Yannick Sculpt by Natalie Blick, and it's Y-A-N-N-I-K, and uh, she was reborn and rooted by uh, my favorite artist, Emma Bennett. And so what I wanted to do today is change her into another outfit so that I could show you some details. And so the outfit that she came in it's really, really super cute, and I wanted to to show you that also. And I'm going to um, put the camera down so that I can get a better view of her. And um, this little outfit came with a hood. She's got a little hoodie on the back. It's got little ears. Isn't that darling? And so she's all ready for the, the cold season that's coming. So um, that is really cute. So I'm going to take that off. Um, and I'm going to put her into a different outfit. And let me show you the outfit that I'm going to be putting her in. So let me set her up here. She's just gorgeous, you guys. Uh, but anyway, um, so I wanted... I was kind of torn between a couple of outfits that Emma sent with her. Um, I was going to put this one on. Uh, this is the outfit that, that she knitted especially for this little girl. But, um, it you know, it so much reminds me of Christmas because it's white and it's got um, silver um, thread threading throughout it. And so I'm going to save this for Christmas time. This is going to be a perfect outfit for her for Christmas. And um, this this came with also came with these little these little um, this little diaper cover and these little matchy booties and so yeah I I think I'm going to save these for Christmas time and the outfit that I've chosen for her today is going to be this one really really fancy really cute it's a little top. And then it came with these um, matching bottoms. It's the same fabric on the bottom of the legs. And um, I found some shoes that will go with this outfit. Um, <clears throat> they're real blingy. And they're <clears throat> about the same color of pink. And I thought they would go really, really cute with it. Um, because, you know, she's got this satin bow. It's also... Got the little diamond in the middle. Um, and then the socks that I'm going to be choosing, this is my box of socks. Um, for those of you who are new subscribers to me, um, I have I have two little two little boxes of socks. Um, these are the fancy ones. And then I have another um, box that has the more, not really casual, but they don't have the, the fancy frill on them. And this is the name um, of the socks. And I got them from Amazon probably about a year ago or so. But anyways, there's every color in the rainbow in here. And I am going to choose these uh, light pink socks. Because I think that they'll go perfectly with um, the, the pink rose um, color scheme. So let me go ahead and put these aside. Okay, um, I'm, I'm going to do her hair up in little two little ponytails. And um, she, the Emma sent these cute little bows, little sparkly bows, that are clip-on bows, and so she's going to be wearing these little clip-on bows. So that's my plan. So let me go ahead and get started. We'll take her little, um, her little sweatshirt off. This is so so cute, and it's a plush. It's made out of a plush. Oh, this isn't a sweatshirt, you guys. Oh, this is an all-in-one. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> that, now, that is a nice surprise. Wow, that's very, very nice. It's like, um, it reminds me of the, uh, you know, the blanket sleepers. 
And uh, I used to dress my kids in blanket sleepers at night uh, over their pajamas so that they, you know, in case they kicked the blanket off, um, they would stay nice and warm. Let me see how I can take this off easily. But I love this. Wow. I, I kept thinking it was like a little sweatshirt, um, you know, with, with li some little pants. But no, it's not. It's an all-in-one. So that is darling. Wow. There we go, little one. Yeah, she's got beautiful hair. I noticed uh, also that her hair, um, it, I mean, it's almost the same color. It's a strawberry blonde, and it's almost the same color as her sister Maggie Mays. So I think that's really neat. She just reminds me so much of a younger version of my Maggie May. And um, when I get finished uh, dressing her, I will bring Maggie May up here. And so we, I can show you both of them um, side by side. But yeah, this is a cute outfit. Perfect little uh, warm little traveling outfit. She came... Um, all the way from uh, Florida and so she was she stayed nice and warm in this outfit that is darling let's see if I can get it situated here there it is see isn't that cute and it's got the little hoodie in the back with the little ears little gray ears so I just love it. Just love it. Okay, um, I'm going to leave her her pink um, onesie on because I think it's just, it'll go perfect underneath the outfit that she's wearing. Um, like I said, she's full arms and full legs. So she can wear, she can wear everything. Um, she's got cute little froggy legs, as you can see. And we'll go ahead and take her. Um, I'm gonna. I want to show you close-ups of her, her nails, her toenails, and um, her fingernails because Emma does such an awesome job with them. So why don't I do that right now? I'll pick her up, and she's a big girl. I know I keep saying that. She's my biggest girl. Uh, um, well, you know Maggie May is my second to the biggest toddler that I have. Uh, Madeline is my first biggest toddler, Maggie Mae, and then it will be this one, and then my Princess Chrissy, which is the Saskia sculpt. But um, anyway, well, while I have her up here, here's a better a close-up of her beautiful face. Um, she's got cute little teeth down there, um, a nice little cute little tongue and then she's got uh, gums up above her eyes are glass eyes and her uh, she's got rooted eyelashes beautiful so let me show you her hands there's her fingernails there they are beautiful job your little toes. Your little toes are kind of all squinched in there. <laughs> there. It's your little toes. There they are. So yeah, she's um <laughs> she is the cutest little thing. And I'm so happy to have a sister for Maggie May. So I guess what I should do is tell you, um, give, tell you her name. I want to name her Katie Lynn. And, um, when I, when I saw her, I wanted to name her Katie Lynn. And I have another doll, a reborn doll in my collection that I named Katie Lynn. So I am going to borrow that name from her. Um, I think that this little girl suits that name much more than the one um, uh, that I originally named and so uh, but I did think of another name for that one and her name's uh, going to be Annie because she looks like she just reminds me of an Annie so much and um, so anyway I did a little name switch and I don't know if you all ever do switcher switcheroos like that um, this is the first time I've done that 
but you know Maggie Mae's got like a her name is a two name name and uh, Katie Lynn I think just really suits this little girl so okay let's go ahead and lay you down and so that I can um, get your little her, 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 she's got these little froggy legs that are bent like this, so they're, they're not, um, you know, the pants, of course, aren't going to slide on as easily as they would uh, straight legs, but we'll get her. We'll get her. Yes, we will. Yep. Ah, these are so cute. Look at that. Oh, you, yeah. you looking at, what you looking up at? <laughs> she says, Mommy, I'm bored. I'm I'm looking at the ceiling. I'm counting I'm counting all the little speckles in the ceiling while you struggle with getting my pants on me. And I say, Okay, that's fine with me. You can count as much as you want to. And who taught you how to count, by the way? That's what I want to know. Aren't you kind of too young to know how to count? And so okay. Let's go ahead while she's laying down and put her little dress on. Look at the darling little buttons in the back. Little tiny little little buttons. I just love this outfit. Yes, uh, I'm just over the moon in love with this little girl. And, um, and I love Maggie Mae. And so it's so neat that um, I have two dolls. Um, actually, I have more than two dolls from Emma Bennett, but these are the two that I put together as sisters, and um, I'm very, very pleased with the way that Emma rooted her hair and did her, um, her skin tone, and she's even got some, uh, she, she has very light modeling, and she even has some very light veining which I'm just now noticing, which is um, very realistic. You know, I um, I don't like heavy modeling and heavy veining, but I do like it when it looks realistic, and um, Emma did a really good job with this, with her, um, her painting. So let's go ahead and sit you up, turn you around. There we go, let's see if we can get you buttoned. Oops, that's the phone. So that was my son. Um, he was calling and he wanted to talk to me about uh, yesterday was Halloween. Um, he has uh, two young children, my, my grandkids. Uh, let's see, one is six and the other one is four. And so he wanted to, to tell me all about, you know, the trick-or-treating and all that stuff. But um, I'm going to have to call him back <laughs> because um, I was right in the middle of doing this video and I want to I want to finish this up and get it uploaded and then um, I can I can talk to him. But anyways, um, it was really cool that he called. So we got her all buttoned up and now I am going to uh, lay her down here so that I can put her little shoes on. Her pretty little socks. There's her socks. They have a little lace around the top. And her little feet are all squinched in. So which makes them, this her feet being squinched in like that makes them sort of, um, they're not very long, but they're sort of chubby. And so it, she takes a, a larger size shoe. Let's see, I think this one said it is a, oh, it's just zero to three month um, child of mine. And so, but you know how that goes um, with shoes. You never know. Each each brand is going to be a little bit different from the next in the way of sizing. That's what I found. It's just so hard to predict um, from brand to brand. But that looks really cute. And then the last thing we'll do. Are you doing okay there, Miss Katie Lynn? So I, I'm not sure what I was talking about. Was I talking about, um, I was talking about, you know, I borrowed a name from one of my other baby dolls. And um, actually, I didn't borrow it. I'm not giving it back. Um, but anyway, the other dolly is, is going to be named Annie. I think I remember telling you that. And one of these days, I'll show you 
um, who that is. But right now, I am going to um, focus on getting this little one dressed up. Yeah. Okay, so let's go ahead and do her ponytails. I love doing ponytails and braids. That's what I know how to do the best. And so that's what we're going to do today with her. Thought she would look really cute like that. Um, it looks like that Emma had curled her hair. I, you know, before um, for her photographs. But one thing that I haven't done yet that I'm just so hesitant to do, and that is to use a curling iron. On even though it, this is human hair, still, um, you know, a curling iron will like frizz out the ends and stuff. And so I'm very hesitant. So what I do is, um, the babies that Emma sends me, I just keep whatever curl that she uses, you know, that usually just stays in and then, um, you know, I don't, I don't bother about curling it anymore because I'd rather have the, you know, the nice hair without the frizz in it. And she does such a good job of, um, rooting and also of cutting their hair, trimming their hair. And I would, I just want to keep it as nice as as she does, you know, as, as nice as when she first sent, sends it. So, um, but yeah, now you can see her little, her little uh, diamond earrings really well. And yeah, she looks cute like this. There you go. I love this. The um, texture of her hair is really nice. Look at how curly that is. Wavy. Love that. Okay, let's go ahead and put this one in, her little flower. Put that little flower in there. Like that. No, I think I'll do it the other way. I don't like to see the back, the backs of the, uh, the clip. So we'll do it this way. There we go. That's better. Yeah. Let's see if I can get this side even. <laughs> One of my um, dolly friends, when I was doing Maggie, May, Maggie May's hair one time, she wrote in and she said that I always, somehow I managed to get both sides of the ponytails even. And uh, <laughs> I don't know how I end up doing that. I, I know that I, what I do is I do it, I do the hair, and then I look in the camera to make sure that it's even on both sides. Because um, for me, you know, I like everything to be, just, just so. Okay, there it is. These are really hard to find. I use the, the plastic bands that are, um, these ones are clear. So as you can see, the rooting is really awesome. Emma roots her hair as if it were human. How do I say it? It's like a human scalp in the way of the way that the hair is um, the hairline goes and stuff so she's really really good at that nice curls nice little waves love that she looks so darling oh wow yes she does I'll um let me put this little bow in and then we'll give you a, a better she needs to be looking at her dolly friends and her her aunties and uncles what was she looking looking at over here? I think it's because I have Maggie May over there sitting in a rocking chair, and uh, she's like wanting to know what Maggie May's up to, and you know how little kids like to get into each other's little business. But there we go. Yeah, love this on her. Love her little piggy tails. Here she is. Okay, so here's a close up. There she is in her little, her little piggy tails. Here's the side and the back. See, look at that. Look at that rooting. I mean, that looks like a person, like a human ha hair. And then she's got her little, her little pierced earrings. She's darling. Wow. Okay, so I'm going to bring Maggie May up right now. To join little Katie Lynn 
and she's in her rocking chair. And there she is. And let's see if I can let's see if I can get these two together. Maybe what I need to do is put Maggie Mae in the back and Katie Lynn in the front and do it that way. Oh boy. These tod toddler toddler babies are they are big. But I think I'm thinking this is what I'm going to do. But let's see. <laughs> Let me see how that works. I don't know. Yeah. Let's see. Yes, you're just laughing and smiling just like your little your big sister, aren't you? But there she is. Let's see if we can get you to let's see if that's gonna work. Maggie May, what are you looking at? There we go. So what do you think? Do they look like sisters? I think they look like sisters. Let me put this up a bit. Put it down a little bit more. Sorry about all the jerking, you guys. Um, but yeah, I think, I think that they look like sisters. And um, <clears throat> I'm very, 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 very pleased with both of them. And so thank you again, Emma. I, I, uh, I treasure these, both of these dolls. I treasure them. And they're both beautiful. So there they are, Maggie Mae and Katie Lynn, and um, I hope you enjoyed seeing Katie Lynn getting her new outfit on, and that you enjoyed seeing Maggie Mae again. And if you'll notice, their hair is identical. They both have strawberry blonde hair. Um, it's just, it's amazing. I, I didn't... <laughs> It's just amazing. Anyways, before I, I, I babble on too long here, I just wanted to, to come on again and give you some details. Um, hope you enjoyed seeing them today. And um, have a wonderful weekend. Um, and um, I'll see you again soon in the next video. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.